Well, good morning. We're at the beautiful Waveney Valley complex today and I'm on Yew Tree Lake. The target is going to be a catfish. I've got a lovely day ahead of me. I've got some nice stinky baits. I've seen a bit of fizzing, so I'm, I'm going to get the rods out in a minute. And yeah, fingers crossed for one of them really arm wrenching battles. Uh, I'm going to try my best. They are more of a nocturnal species, but I've been assured they come out in the daytime here. So let's get them out and see if we can catch one. Well, I flicked two rods out really close in when I got here. I saw some fizzing, definitely saw like a big catfish pattern. Uh, so I thought there might be a chance of an early bite. They've been out half an hour. To be honest, it looks a bit dead in close now. My second plan is to get some bait out in the open water. I've been told there's a bar just about probably 40 or so yards out and the fish apparently patrol that one. So I'm going to get some bait out with a spawn. I've brought, I had a look in my kind of container at home and I probably bought too much, but uh, I've got a range of basically smelly fish meal boilies, fish meal pellets, krill pellets, a bit, bits and pieces. I want to make a real pungent mix. So I'm going to knock that up quickly, get the rods clipped up, get it out there, and then hopefully they'll come to the dinner table. Didn't take long. We've knocked up a really good spod mix. Let's get it out there. So I've got the distance marker sticks out. Nothing complicated if any of you haven't used them. It's just I've spaced them a rod length apart. I've cast out with a bare lead to find an area I like. I've then put that in the clip, measured out. It's 11 wraps, clipped it up, cast it out with the bait on. And I'm now just going to clip this spawn rod up to 11 wraps. I'll go just over 11 actually, just so the bait is just behind the rig. So I mustn't lose count. I'm not very good at this. 10, 11, and a little bit. Put that in the clip. And wind it in. And I've also, it's worth saying, I've picked a, a marker in the background, a bush. So I'm going to cast in line with that bush. And the bait will be, hopefully, all on the same area and attract one of these catfish. Well, this is going to be the last bomb. I've put 10 out, or 9, lucky number 10. A little tip, I shake the bait down to the bottom of the spawn. The drop I have, I have the spawn level with the spigot for the cast. And you must cast from the same spot if you want the bait accurately. So I've put, I put a little line in the gravel here so I can remember where to cast every time and hit the same distance. Perfect. Well, we're in the rod near the islands just is a slamming drop back actually and uh and then it's ripped off i'm not sure what it is i'm i wouldn't like to say it might be a carp but i don't know it's uh well it's a small fish <laughs> it's a fish but it is i've got excited but i think it's quite a small one what we got oh it is a catfish it's a little Oh, it's a little corker, a little baby cat. Let's have a look at him. Well, that's a start.
Look at that little fella. The greedy little thing. There you go, look at this. <laughs> Probably the, might be the smallest one in here. It's obviously what you call a little kitten. And they are cool looking fish. And it's done a lot for my confidence because I don't, I'm no catfish angler. Once a year I like to have a little go for these. You definitely want to bring a few, some forceps with you. Out it comes. And that is what you call a little, I suppose perfection in miniature is the, is the catchphrase, but look at that little predator. Isn't he cool? He's made my day. Hopefully we get another one and a bigger one, but that's a catfish. That's what I've come for. So we're off the mark. It's taken a couple of hours and yeah, really good confidence booster. But look at his lovely whiskers. He is beautiful. These fish grow really quickly as well. So in a few years, this will be like fill up this unhooking mat. So he's probably only two years old. See his tiny little eyes. Really pretty fish. Look at its tiny little dorsal fin. Funny little thing. So I decided to come for these catfish yesterday. So I had a rummage round in the box and it's basically carp fishing and it's simple rigs. That's how I fish, but I wanted some strong gear. So I found some nice shock snag lead. It's 40 pound, really tough stuff. So that's going to be my hook link. Hook wise, you don't need massive hooks for catfish, but you want strength, strength over size. So I've gone for size six, short curve. I've had 80 pound sturgeon on these, so I'm really confident in their strength. And now I've just got a little anti-tangle sleeve to put on the end. It's basically a not the slot rig. I can tie it up in a minute and that's going to catch them. Okay, so I'll take about 14 inches or so of the 40 pound braid and form an overhand loop. That's going to be your hair. But big tip, I do a big loop because I'm using a double bait and I want the, the knot to secure that bait in place so the two lock together. Nothing complicated, but a good tip. There's your loop. Size six hook. These are mega sharp, but I always test. That one's sticky through the back of the eye towards the point. So we're using like, so we're using like a snowman double bait. So I need a decent hair. I'm going to judge it about so. I whip down five times, five or six times, and then I whip under the hair twice. All that does is it gives you a lovely angle. It kicks that hook out more. I whip over the knot once, back through the eye, and that is pretty much your rig. All we've got to do now is tie a double, like a figure of eight, in this end, pull that tight, and that's it. Just trim your tags, don't trim them too tight. And there you go, one simple rig for hopefully a big catfish. And lastly, just to finish it off and neaten it up, because I'm using a a soft, soft, softest braid, I just thread one of these anti-tangle sleeves on and this little loop that just clips on to the swivel slides all up that kicks it away neat simple strong that's all you need for catching these fish so i've just clipped that simple rig on to a lead clip system it's just clipped on there's the anti-tangle sleeve and i'm going to put a hook bait on i've got a lovely squiddy tuna flavoured pop-up with a nice hard smelly tuna bottom bait onto that big big loop hair stop when you can see that knot there will lock those two baits in position. Let's get it out. We've had a little tiny kitten. See if we can get a bigger one. Before I cast out, 
I will attach just a small PVA bag, which is my spod mix actually. It's got lots of fish oils and mackerel and little pellets and crust tuna boilies. So it's going to give attraction around the hook bait, but also it's going to uh, ensure I don't tangle on the cast. It's going to kick it all, kick it all away, and I just nick, just nick the hook on through the middle of the bag. Simple, but makes a big difference. Well, these rods just melted off. I just put a few spoms out and a few more boilies. Just sitting down tying up a fresh rig and this one is this fish feels a bit more powerful is yeah it's melted off i'm just trying to keep the rod up because i know there's a bar out there so i'm trying to keep it over that bar but to be honest i think the i think the fish is more in charge than i am at this stage so try and uh, breathe deep and keep calm but we might be here a little while this feels fairly weighty yeah, I just feel it coming up over that bar. It's a nice catfish. Gotcha! Whoa, come on! Here we go, just lifted this beautiful moggy up onto the mat, or should I say mats? I, I bought two mats today. I wasn't, I wasn't overconfident. I just, I knew they go to you know, 50 pound in this lake and I wanted to have, have some room. This rod actually hadn't been out that long. I just spotted over it, put a bit more bait in, and yeah, if you want to look at this hook hold, just on the outside there, just hooked. I was a little bit lucky. One thing's worth bringing for these is a pair of decent forceps. That's just slipped out. You can see if I had let the pressure off, I might have lost it. That is a, that's a beautiful cat, well over I guess it's well over 20 pounds, big enough for me. You can look in the big old mouth they've got and they've got these bristle pads, which when they grab hold of a fish, that's not gonna get away. But these, they love boilies and pellets, luckily for us. Just give it a little drink, All right? I'm gonna try and pick it up. This will be, this will be fun. Hopefully it behaves. Just gonna try and uh, move the net as well, actually. Get that out of the way. One, two, three, come on big girl. It, very slimy or silky. I don't know if it's slime or silk, but there we go. Look at that. A beautiful, nice big catfish on a day session. I'm so pleased with this one. I've been, my confidence has been up and down, but yeah, really happy, hard fighter. We are gonna get the rods out. There's always another chance, but yeah, so pleased with this one. Look at that. Beautiful speckled specimen, massive whiskers. And she's actually behaving quite well. Lovely fish. Right, let's have to get her back because the sun's out. A little rest in the edge. And we're gonna slip her back to our lovely lily pad home. There you go. Oh, magic. <sighs> Big fish, mate. Well, I've just cast out, put some bait around it, and it's absolutely melted off. And this is going a long way out there. I'm giving it as much as I, as I dare. Rod's bent. Big fish. Try and gain some line. I might have to. I might have to get another angle on this. Let's get round here. I've got the strong gear on, so that shouldn't let me down. But these fish take some. Well, I don't think you can stop them. I'm using my leg to actually get some leverage, a bit like when I'm sea fishing. I 
I can't believe the take of rod had been in 30 seconds. They've definitely found this bait. Just coming round to this other swim, luckily it's empty. I've got a better angle, I think. But I, I think this cat's in charge of me at the moment still. Bah. I've just seen it on the surface for the, well it's a little bit closer in now. It's a bit of a stalemate, it's just kind of holding there. Arms definitely aching. At least it's starting to come the right way. I think we're going to have to go back to the other swim. Oh, there it is, yeah. Oh, it's a monster. Look at it. Jesus. Can you see that? See that, Lloydie? Yeah. Look at its head. Right. I might get someone to net this for me. We've got, we've got one of the best predator anglers around. Go on, Mr. Goebel. <laughs> right, no pressure. If I just walk back. Just see that pop up in its mouth. Oh, <laughs> this is what we came, came for, but... Oh. Proper adrenaline. Lift. Yep. Yep, tail in. Yep, yep, lift. Well done, John. That is a bit. Well done, mate. That is not easy. Well done. <sighs> Try and get my breath back. Look at this beast. Wow, look at that. Right, let's just slide the net out of the way. Right, let's get her in this sling. She just about fits. You've got to be very careful with all fish never to zip their fins. So make sure their fins are well out of the way when you do the zip up. There we go. Right, here we go. Ooh. Can you 40, see that? 48 six. 48 pound six. But that's what we came for on a day session at Waveney Valley Lakes. <sighs> Thanks for the help, John. Let's have a look at this monster. Again, I bought two mats, not being overconfident, but you just never know. When you know there's big fish in a lake, you have to be prepared. Look at the size of its tummy. And she does, she does full. She fills both of these mats. I'm saying she, I don't really know. Can you see that? I have a little, I know I'm a little guy, but I suppose she's nearly... Well, she's nearly as big as me, everyone. If I don't say it, someone else will. Try and pick her up. They're not the easiest things to handle. I'll put the waders on as well so we can get in and out with her. And they are slimy. There you go. They're definitely not the, not the easiest ones to hold. But hopefully you can see just how big she is, is heavy. The tails. There we go. How's that? She's one of my biggest, uh, well, I think my biggest carps this size. Well, that, is a, that is a big cat. Well I've just kind of laid her on my lap actually, put the waders on and that's making the job a little bit easy. She's definitely a bit of a handful. Just look at her. Absolute monster. We're going to take her back to the water now and hopefully watch her swim away back to this lovely venue. It's nice to cool down actually. It's a beautiful warm day. So it's nice to get in the water with this monster. 
Look at a head. I don't know how big that is, but that is a big head. And this is a beautiful lake. Just get the silt off it. She definitely wants to go nice and strong. I won't kiss her, she's too ugly. There you go, thank you very much. Magic, I was so happy, magic. We were just setting everything up again. We had a cup of tea and a sandwich, put a bit more bait out. Thought I'd put the rods out again and I think five minutes and it's just a lovely drop back. I've got to the rod and then it's just started pulling up and picked it up and yeah, it's another monster. I can, I can tell you that because it's powered right out well over a hundred yards and uh, I think I'm now starting to gain on it, but I don't want to speak too, so it's too soon. Patience and a bit of composure is needed and a bit of luck. You've got island lilies, bars, so the lead will be dumped, which definitely helps to, to get the fish up in the water. But these big fish, you're, ne you're never in complete control. If they want to go, and it's a case of just trying to gain a bit by bit. I can see it out, out there on the top. I'm using the butts jammed into my leg as well, just to try and uh, take a bit of pressure off the arm. Definitely another big fish. You're not going to even attempt to bully these fish in. One kick of the tail and you just see the power. Hopefully she'll keep coming. Whoa. Oh, it's the size of its tail. Wow, I don't know if you saw that, but I just had a Massive tail leap over in front of me. Absolutely magic. Big tail. Might do it again. I'm very lucky. I've got my gilly. Gilly. Gilly John with the net. And it's definitely, if you've got someone with the net, use them. He's just going round the corner now. Where are you going? Well, he's right down there, look. Not ready yet. No, he's not. I thought he was. Oh, look at him. He's another big girl. I'll right, try and get his head up, have not I? Yeah. Oh, different to the last one. It's fighting under the tip a bit more, isn't it? Yeah, I thought that was ready a second ago. No, he's not ready. No, he's definitely not ready. That's just woken up. Oh, no. That was coming in, here it comes. Can't see it. No, it's just gone deep a bit. I think it saw us and... Well, it took one look at you and went well, away. I got, you, got your, <laughs> you got your jumper off and that's all those big muscles. <laughs> that's what happened, you scared it. Right, he's just under there, but I... Yeah. I might see him now. I don't think he's ready yet. No. No, he's doing big circles there, isn't he? Oh, play it. It. Just play it, mate. Enjoy it. 
See the slime up all, oh look at that, there's his big head. Here he comes. Good right, let's have a quick way of this other monster. Oh, I'll just get that called out. Right, here we go. Jesus Christ, that's heavy. Fifty. Fifty. I call it fifty-nine. Fifty-nine pounds. What? Fifty-nine. Jesus, God. you said that, John. Oh, you said fifty-nine. Yeah, he knew. Put it there, mate. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Right, let's rest her in the edge, breath back, and then we'll have a proper look at her. That is one heavy fish. I've got no, no problem saying that that, that's about as much as I can lift. 59 pounds. We got in a right pickle, to be honest. When we tried to net it, ended up having to sort of jump in and scoop her up, but... We got her safely in the net, and that is one fat, heavy catfish. I've been told it's probably the biggest one in here, so, you know, speechless really, to come for a day session and catch the biggest fish in the lake. You know, a 48 was a, you see it's as long as those two mats. Absolute monster. I'll try and pick her up for you, but, if not, I'll just prop her up. Oh, that is so... Oh, look at that. That is one, one big, one big slug. The head on it is just ginormous. It's, I don't know, it's nearly a foot across. I don't know, it's just massive. Have another go. I've got the waders on, so... I can kind of hold her against the waders. There you go. I hope you can see her. It's, a, it's obviously a bit of a handful. But yeah, I'm, I can't believe it. Yeah. Wow, well, 59 pound cat on a day session. Uh, I was hoping for a 20 pounder, so to get one nearly three times that big. Yeah, wow, that's what it's all about. Such powerful fish. <sighs> Size of that head. Look at those big pads. Definitely get a grapefruit down that. You can see that, that is massive. You wouldn't want to end up down there. What we do is we'll give her back in the water and hopefully just, she's still very strong and let her swim away. Well, I had a 48 pounder and uh, I wasn't going to put the rods back out and I only put one out and uh, we had a few more shots to do and to finish with this monster of 59 pound is quite overwhelming. It has been an amazing, an amazing day here. Well, if I can just one more look at you big girl. It's been an amazing day. And that is an amazing fish. I can barely lift her. So yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you and thanks so much for watching. And uh, yeah, see you again next time. <laughs>